Today we are going to make our self 13, which will be about the continents and rivers. But remember, we have learned our countries and we have learned about our travel. So learning continent, it will be much easier when we are traveling. When we are traveling. So today we're going to improve our vocabulary with contents and rivers. Please prepare your writing materials, which is your, your pink highlighter and blue pen and some other colorful color pens to identify little details. Remember, writing in French is very, very difficult and quite challenging to remember. So this is why we keep writing. So let's start. Which will be the most useful word to learn? Obviously, it will be the world. Le monde. Le monde. Which is in English, the world. The world. Le monde. Le monde. Un continent. Un continent. Un continent. Which is in English, a continent. A continent. A continent. L'Océanie. 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 L'Océanie, which is Australasia in English. Australasia, which is in English. L'Europe. L'Europe. L'Europe, which is Europe. Europe. As you see, we have England, France in Europe, and Romania in other countries, Germany in Europe. L'Amérique du Sud. L'Amérique. 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 Du Sud, l'Amérique du Sud, which is South, South America, ou oh, l'Amérique, l'Amérique, l'Amérique du Nord, which is North America which is, as we have learned in our travel video, we have learned about America, Statue of the Liberty, we have learned about the big cities, so the continent, as you see, Mexique, we have learned again, so Amérique du Nord, Amérique du Sud, and l'Afrique, 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 which is Africa, which is Africa. L'Antarctique, 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 which is Antarctica, which is Antarctica. So, one more time. Le monde, the world, un continent, a continent, l'Océanie, l'Europe, l'Amérique du Sud, l'Amérique du Nord, l'Afrique, l'Antarctique. Please highlight all articles. Le monde, masculin, un continent, masculin, l'Océanie, l'Europe, l'Amérique, la L'Amérique again. As you see, l'Océanie, l'Europe, l'Amérique, l'Afrique et l'Antarctique, they all start with the vowels. This is why we are putting L and apostrophe one more time. So all of the continents are féminin. L'Océanie, l'Europe, l'Amérique, l'Afrique, l'Antarctique, these continents are all féminin. So if you describe them, you need to use a féminin adjective. So let me give you some examples. L'Afrique est claire. L'Afrique est claire. L'Afrique est claire. L'Afrique est claire. Meaning Africa. Meaning Africa 
is full of light full of light l'Afrique est claire Afrique is full of light l'Antarctique 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 est froide et froide which is Antarctica is cold Antarctica is cold. So please highlight with me E. So you see, l'Antarctique est froide. As the continent is féminin, we use the adjective with feminine form. So to say a country is a continent, you use un. You use un, which is instead of L. So c'est en Afrique, c'est en Amérique du Sud. Let's write. C'est en Amérique du Sud. C'est en Amérique du Sud. So meaning it is in South America. It's in South America. So please highlight with me again one more time. You say c'est en Amérique. It is in South America. La Belgique est en Europe. La Belgique est en Europe. Let's write. La Belgique. La Belgique. La Belgique est en Europe. La Belgique est en Europe. Meaning the Belgium. Meaning Belgium. Belgium is in Europe. Is in Europe. Please highlight with me again. La féminin. Belgique est en Europe. Belgium is in Europe. Let's check. Let's see your map and find the Belgique. So, as you see here, we see the Brussels. And just here, la Belgique est en Europe. As you can see. And now it is time to learn our rivers. How do you say river? How do you say river? In French, we say les fleuves. Les fleuves. Les fleuves. The rivers. The rivers. Ou, so we are. We have across the world. We have famous rivers like La Tamise. La Tamise, which is the Thames, which is the Thames in England, or La Seine. La Seine, which is the Seine. So La Seine is the most famous river in France. It's crossing, as you see, La Seine. It's in Paris. So when you want to say it is on the river, you say sur. C'est sur. C'est sur la scène please highlight sur sur means on the it's on the it meaning it's on the scène so you can say something is the biggest using the phrase le plus Ou le plus grand, le plus grand, le plus grand, le plus grand is the biggest in English, the biggest. So we can say le Nil est le plus grand, le Nil, le Nil, which is the river, le Nil est le plus grand. 
est le plus grand. Meaning, the Nile is the biggest. The river is the biggest. Is the biggest. So today when you are saying, when we learned the biggest, in French, le plus grand. Alors, we have learned today our continents and rivers. So I hope this vocabulary will build your travel vocabulary and you will practice more and more. And I hope you will prepare some posters like my students does, like my students do. Like this, you can prepare some posters for on specific countries you come from and you can enjoy your vocabulary in French while you're exploring the countries. So if you want to learn and explore more about France and French and other cultural countries, you can subscribe to my channel and watch other videos. At the same time, you will, I'm, I will be, I'm teaching in maths, so you will learn your French and soon we will be doing maths in French. Thank you for watching.